Jonas Brothers back on the show. I always love it when they're here. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Right here, right here on this show, we put the Jonas Brothers back together and look what's happened. Flying. Absolutely flying. I wonder if we could start our own boy band. Do you know what I mean? I feel like that was so successful. That was so successful. I wonder if we could start our own boy band right here and just go meet it head on, just go in direct competition with the Jonas Brothers. Do you know what I mean? I know they're not a boy band, but I feel like we'd be a man band. You know, like, what do you think? We gave, we gave them a head start. Yeah. Yeah. I'm even, I'm happy to open for them. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I doesn't, it could be us, Kelsey Ballerini on the tour, then the Jonas Brothers, and then we'd be in that great place where, like, six years later, they're opening for us, and they're just looking like, what happened? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you know? I feel like we could do, who'd be in the band? I'll be in it. I don't know if we need... Oh, come on, man. Come on. Let's not make this harder than it already is. Um, it's, I don't think we... I don't... We need complete commitment, so I don't think... I don't think we can have any members of Penix <laughs> in the band. Do you oh know what I mean? Oh, my God. People are hollering, at, uh, like, asking about Penix. They're asking me about Penix. Who was asking you about Penix? Penix is a band that we found out last night. <laughs> We found out that Tim and Steve have been in a band for six years called Penix, and we don't know. We've, we found out as you did. Yeah, what do we call Penix fans? Penixers. <laughs> Penix heads. Yeah. Yeah, Penix heads. Penixer. You know the Penixers. Oh. The Peni. Penix like, heads. That was a really big Penixer. They love the band. Who'd be in the band, though? Let's really lock this down. I feel like we need some proper eye candy. We need a front man. Yeah. 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 Angala. I feel like yeah. Angala, because he can dance. Yes. He can dance too. He can dance. He looks good. You he's know what got I... a, He's got a sleeve of tats. I feel like Rob is made to be the front man of the band. <laughs> I'll happily take the place of like the, the, the chubby guy who writes the songs. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I know my place. I know where I am. First time you see the band, you're like, why is he there? Three years later, you find out, oh, he writes all the songs. Four years later, they're travelling in a Prius. I'm in a Rolls Royce, cos I... Don't... <laughs> That's the way it normally plays out, isn't it? I think Angala's in the band. I'm in, baby. Let's do I it. think Reggie's in the band for vocals. <laughs> I think I'm in the band, and then I think Pete's in the band as just, like, the maverick who refuses to play by the rules, you know what I mean? <laughs> he's just the guy you just don't know. He's... You never know if he's gonna turn up. He kicks the <laughs> out of an amp every show. <laughs> <laughs> You need the guy showing up on, like, TMZ walking out at One Oak with an alligator. Exactly. Yeah. Just punching cameras, <laughs> flicking cigarettes, car full of tasty babes. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, every boy band needs a guy who looks like he owns a deli, so I'm in, too. There it is. <laughs> That's the five. That's... I, I, honestly, and I'm not saying this at all as a joke, I don't see a world where it fails. <laughs> Well, it's that time. It's time for the news. And we've actually got an update on a news story that we told you about last night. You remember how we said that French tycoon Bernard Arnault has just surpassed Jeff Bezos to become the world's richest man? Well, not anymore. Today, Bezos, back on top spot. Yeah. That was fast, wasn't it? Not to brag, I think it's probably has something to do with the 34-pack of paper towels I ordered on Amazon last night. <laughs> I honestly think that tipped him over. But I'm sure Bernard Arnault is taking it all in his stride. Must be tough, though. Spend a day as the world's richest man, and then you've got to print out a label, box up and ship the world's richest man trophy back to Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> and here's some potentially big news. Manhattan's district attorney has just convened a grand jury to decide whether or not to indict Donald Trump on insurance bank and tax fraud. This is a big step, and it suggests the DA has evidence of a crime. But don't worry, Trump supporters, Rudy Giuliani is on the case. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking at whether Trump lied about the value of his properties to get loans approved and to pay lower taxes. And does this really need an investigation? <laughs> I feel like he spent four full years bragging about doing exactly that, didn't he? <laughs> If me and you brought in a suspect for questioning, who's the good cop, who's the bad cop? Ooh, I, I feel like we lose track and both... 
end up being kind of the good cop. Do you think? I think we'd lose. Tra- I think we'd like start off with a plan before we went in, and then like halfway through it, we'd be like, "Sorry about him. Let me get you a ham sandwich." You yeah. <laughs> know. I, I I think I fancy a switch in roles. That's what I feel like. I feel like you sit down with the you sit down with the guy, and I don't talk for like an hour. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I just pace. So, the you whole gotta, time you're just yeah you're just sat like. All you gotta do is tell us where you were May 14th, 7 p.m. It's not hard. <laughs> it's not. I can tell you where I was. I was sitting in home. I was watching Jeopardy. Hey 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 hey, hey, good. hey hey. Ian, why don't you take off? Turn the camera off. Give me five minutes. And you'll go. Whoa! <laughs> that's my that's my feeling. That's where I think we'd be. And then once you go, I'm like. Now he's gone, do you want a ham sandwich? (laughs) Now, of course, Donald Trump responded to the news by lashing out, calling the grand jury, quote, purely political, which, uh, that's right, this is clearly just a plot to get Trump kicked out of the White House. That's all this is. (laughs) Trump also called it part of, quote, the greatest witch hunt in American history, which begs the question, are people actually out there ranking witch hunts? (laughs) <laughs> Moving on, we wanted to show you this. The owner of a Philadelphia restaurant celebrated his birthday this week by having a bunch of chefs assemble a cheesesteak that measures 510 feet long. Which already sounds like a fake thing someone would say about Philly to make fun of Philly. <laughs> Isn't it? Now, take a look at this picture again. Can we zoom in a little? How, how is pushing a regular bunch of regular size <laughs> cheesesteaks together. <laughs> How does that make it one large cheesesteak? Is there no integrity anymore when in making a 500-foot-long cheesesteak? They weren't even all in line. Some were just laid sideways. Barely continuous. I didn't even... I didn't... I didn't in the even middle. know that. <laughs> and that's made it worse. Can you imagine your kid's been stuck inside for a year, doing remote learning, can't see their friends, finally things are starting to, you know, turn the corner, you're like, you know what's going to brighten their little spirits? Take them out to see this 510-foot-long Philly cheesesteak. Come on, kids, let's bound you up, and it's a bottle, nappy bag, a whole thing, chunk, 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 down the stairs. You walk around the corner, and you just see a load of sandwiches on a plate. (laughs) I, I would, I, like, it's, I'm not even, it's put me at 11. <laughs> <laughs> and did everybody see this? Lego has just unveiled its largest toy set ever. It's a world map that contains 11,695 pieces. Here it is here. Look at that. If you step on one of the pieces in the middle of the night, that scream will be heard all over the world. <laughs> Have you done that? If you knelt, I actually don't think it's treading, it's kneeling down. <laughs> when you kneel down on a Lego, uh, that is pain. Like, that is pain that no one has ever felt, and I include childbirth in that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a lot of meat between uh, that knee bone and your skin there. No, and Painful. they. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It feels like the Lego's going. And finally, this is exciting. Did everybody see this? K-pop group group BTS and McDonald's have just joined up to release a new line of merchandise, which includes hoodies, socks, flip-flops, and even a purple bathrobe. Look at that. So when I'm in a meeting and people ask me why I'm a man in my 40s wearing a McDonald's bathrobe, I'll be like, don't be ridiculous. I'm a man in my 40s wearing a BTS K-pop bathrobe. (laughs) Basic bitch. Um, (laughs) I was actually way ahead of the... I was wearing McDonald's on my clothes for most of quarantine. <laughs> so... mm. <laughs> honestly, walking around, eating McNuggets in a BTS bathrobe and BTS flip-flops, honestly, you know what I call that? Perfect Memorial Day weekend. And that, <laughs> that's the news. Woo!